A new tank was being filled with water for hydrostatic testing. Two mechanics were working at the stairs near the roof, finishing the handrails using angle grinders to polish the structure. Hydrostatic testing is a process in which components of a system are tested for resistance and leakage by filling equipment with a pressurized liquid. It serves to identify material failures or tank misassembly. The responsible operator starts the field activities. Firstly, he opens the switch and activates the pump start button. Immediately after he opens the discharge valve, allowing water to enter the tank. But a few hours later, something unexpected happens. An explosion occurs, injuring two mechanics working on the tank, throwing them against the handrails. What happened? The tank had been filled with water through a pipeline, the same pipeline that contained a few liters of gasoline left over from the previous service. So the gasoline was flushed into the tank and floated over the water. and the high ambient temperature caused the gasoline to evaporate. The mechanics performing the hot work eventually ignited the gasoline vapor. What have we learned? Apart from the fact that the piping has not been purged and mechanically cleaned prior to testing, which already is serious cause of this event, no one should be allowed to work on the tank during a hydrostatic test. One of the reasons for filling the tank with water is to ensure that foundations are strong enough. If you could know that before, there is no need to perform the test. People should be removed from the surroundings and the area should be isolated in case these structures are not strong.